Hello, today we're going to look at the options available to you through the Arrange menu in Google Slides. Now, when you look at Arrange, nothing is currently selected because I've got nothing selected on the page. So I've created the page with some shapes here. Now these could just as easily be pictures or, or something else. But this Arrange menu just helps us to organize them quickly. So I am going to hold down my Control key while I select these four because I'd like these four to be part of the same group. You see I can move them as a block if I want. Um, but what I want to do is I want to align them vertically. And to do this I'm going to go to Align Vertically, Top, and you can see it now matches the top edge of all the shapes. Now if these shapes were different size it would still match the top edge and some would protrude lower. There's also a distribute function, and on a distribute function, it's just going to space them equally, either horizontally or vertically. Now, vertically in this sense doesn't make any sense because they're all at exactly the same top and bottom, so there is no way to distribute them. But if we were to do it horizontally, you'd see it makes the spacing equal. I can also go to align horizontally and center that on the page. Notice that brings them all together on top of each other. Whereas if I just use center on page horizontal, it just moves them left to right. Okay, in this case, let me do this. I'm going to take these three, and I'm going to arrange them vertically. Um, actually, I'm going to align them horizontally to the left. Oop, I missed this one. Sorry. Select those two. Arrange, align horizontally to the left. So that gets me in a nice straight line here. And now if I take these three, I should be able to distribute them vertically to get that spacing equal. Okay, so now my spacing is equal horizontally. It's equal vertically. Another thing that I can do with shapes, let's say that I take these three, I can go into grouping and I can group them. Now they're one shape and when I select them they'll all instantly select and I can move them. Now this is particularly useful, let me delete, delete a couple of these, this is very useful when I want to reproduce something. So I'm going to copy these, Control C on my keyboard, although you could right click and copy, you could do, um, you know, any number of things. And then I'm going to paste. And there you can see, whoop, and I'll paste again, and I'll paste again. Let me get my box back to someplace reasonable. And now you can see it was easy for me to create three additional copies that are spaced correctly. Now if I select everything, arrange, line vertically to the top, arrange, align horizontal, uh, I'm sorry, distribute horizontally, and then arrange center on page. There you go. Just an easy way to work with shapes to get them, um, instead of having to adjust each one individually, it can save you some time. Now, I could group all these items, so now this entire set is a single group. So I've grouped in two layers. I first grouped um, in stacks of three, and then I grouped the entire thing together. If I do come back and say ungroup, that ungroups one layer's worth. So these are still grouped. Each of the vertical stacks are grouped, and if I want to ungroup those, I can do that as well. Now these will move individually. Now there are um, a couple of other tools you can use. I'm going to jump to this slide because they're more appropriate with a picture. If I click on the picture, you'll notice the pumpkin is looking off to the right side of the screen. If I go to rotate, I can flip him horizontally to get him to look off to the left side of the screen. Of course, I could rotate him vertically. But that doesn't look quite right. And I can also rotate him in 90 degree increments. So I'll do that twice to get him back to the 
way that he was. In addition to these options under rotate, which allow you to flip it 90 degrees or 180 degrees, you can grab the little circle at the top of a picture and you can adjust that to get a custom angle on any of your pictures or graphics. I mean, I could do the same over here or I could do the same over here. And that would all work the same. Okay, so that concludes the quick view at the Arrange Tools, and they're there simply to make your life easier as far as alignment, centering, and, and flipping and rotating different objects on your slides.